I'm Chad Oliverson, Marketing Director for Arts Alliance Tulsa. So I had a friend for a number of years call me because they're very involved with the Monroe community. And I said, we're starting this uh, mural project at Monroe. And I was like, well, congratulations. Why are you calling me? <laughs> because I know you and you know about arts and we don't. We stepped in and we really had to start kind of from the beginning, which is what they needed help with mostly. Uh, not the excitement, they needed help with the organizational aspect of it. We had a number of artists apply and the community aspect of this really kicked into full gear. And that was really exciting. It happened really fast at that point. Uh, we got together as a group and uh, started deciding on artists, uh, looking at their work and how it would fit, all based on the core values of this school. We took the words from Monroe Demonstration Academy and built the murals from each of them. So each mural represents one of Monroe's core values, responsibility and excellence, empowerment, community. You had to involve all voices, all ages, all demographics for this to be fully realized. Once the artists were decided upon, they were brought together with the youth that actually are in this school, which is imperative, and the parents of the community, all different walks of life. Uh, we got really down into the, to the depths of what this means so the artists could really hear, um, these are the colors I see, these are the textures I see, this is what's important to me as a 10 year old. This is what's important to me as his grandmother. That's where the beauty or the soul of this project really started to weave into place. Let's not stop it just with the artists and the students. Let's pull in another large community member that is active in having their hands in the community and making Tulsa a better place, a stronger place. Arts Alliance Tulsa uh, had many conversations in the past with FC Tulsa. This was really exactly something they were looking for too. And so it became now Monroe, FC Tulsa, Arts Alliance Tulsa. It became a much bigger project. So let's talk about the elements that went into to these murals because they came from the community. One of them was uh, the torch. And that is synonymous with Monroe Demonstration Academy. And if you think of that as um, almost enlightenment um, strength that we use in the Olympic Games, you know, it's something that is hope. I think it's a beautiful image. And I love that being on the jersey and on the shoulder it just makes so much sense. It's like a beacon of hope. Another element that was uh, really, I thought, lovely was the gear, and that was used in empowerment. Gears working together well, moving things forward. And that makes sense on this jersey, too, because we're moving forward as a city together. A, a large element which is used at the bottom of the jersey um, is the iceberg. Because all of us, what we see of one another is just the tip of the iceberg. Another element that, that you see that kind of ties in to really all the murals um, is not only color, uh, colors that unify them um, and tie them back to each other, but shape, a squiggly line, a, a, a block, a ribbon, whatever it is. But really what that represents beyond just color and diversity is movement and flow. And that's what we need to be, right? We're flowing through all of this together. You know, the timing on this entire project it was during the centennial of, of the race massacre in 1921. It couldn't help but play a factor in, in what we were doing. You know, what do you do with that subject matter? Okay, education. At the end of the day, that's how we're going to not see that happen again. So we chose this project and we think it fits within the centennial year because it's, it's about community. It's about education. It's about our youth and that's where understanding and growth starts. So this was a beautiful way to honor the centennial by showing our children a different path. To be a part of this, to even have a small voice in this is an honor. So when we're talking about how did, what did we do for Monroe, it's really what Monroe did for all of us. This is all about Monroe and the community and the art and the students. And I think that's what really made it work is none of us were an I, we were a we.